interview and job search strategies at work. In the last, say, four, five, three, four episodes, I've been talking about uh, call center jobs, help desk jobs. So now I just want to go over a little bit from a call center standpoint. Um, you're in high school, graduating high school, just want to do uh, get a job, etc. Why why is call center, in my opinion, a good a good fit? Well, I'll tell you why. When you work at a call center, you get those soft skills. So you have in um, in, a, in a job, you have hard skills and soft skills. Let me tell you what they are. Uh, soft skills, or let's start with hard skills first. So hard skill is like um, uh, Active Directory. You know, um, knowledge of installing Active Directory, uh, ability to manage users, create users, create permissions. That's a hard skill. That's an example of a hard skill. So the soft skill is looked after, looked after the customer, talked to the customer, explained the solution to the customer, explained the problem. If you're in a restaurant and you're, and you're just waiting to pay for your food and you look to your left or your right and you know somebody's sitting down look like they've been there a little bit you might ask them oh, are you in line you know sir or ma'am that's that's a soft skill a uh, soft skill or an example of a soft skill Ex another example could be you hold the door open for somebody you have no idea who they are you just hold the door open when you leave or you open the door uh, for somebody coming into an establishment like a Walmart or a McDonald's you know you don't know the person you just hold the door open for them it's a common courtesy like that uh, maybe you're somewhere and someone drops something on the floor. Um, they drop, I don't know, their, like their phone, someone dropped their phone. Uh, you say, hey, oh, uh, excuse me, ma'am, sir, uh, you dropped your phone. That's just, that's a soft skill. Um, anything like that, really. That's a good, good soft skill to have. The ability just to, you know, just that common courtesy and, you know, just the general nice, like, oh, I'm just friendly with whoever, you know, because why not, right? We're all humans. We're all in this together. So that's, that's an example of a, a soft skill. Another way you could view the soft skill, why do you want to work at a call center or like, for instance, McDonald's, is you get people training. Every, especially at McDonald's, you're never going to have, a lot of times you're not going to have the same people in McDonald's if you're working the front counter. Sometimes you will. I mean, if you're on an interstate highway, let's say, and, and it's a uh, Walmart that's on um, interstate, a lot of folks come in and out. Every time, every chance you get, you, you, you can interact with another person. You can try your your sales pitch, your, your smile uh, on somebody else, somebody new. Just you can have a chance to meet somebody new uh, just the freshness of it right and now with the call center of course you're talking to folks and so that skill that soft skill that you gain there just the ability to think on your feet if, if you know so ability to um, connect the dots basically like um, just from a, a serving standpoint you know, remember, you're a you're a tennis player. You're serving folks. That's the whole deal. You serve more people, you get more income. The more people you serve, the more income you get. That's that's how it works. I mean, anybody can. Everybody will tell you that. I mean, any anybody who's in, you know worth a bunch of money or just uh, just has that mentality, the business mentality, will tell you that. The more people you serve, your customers the more money you get in return. Um, so that's good practice for you, you know, basically. And we're not talking about, like, bowing down to people and being, you know, subservient or whatever. That's not the goal at all. That's not the goal. The goal is just to, you know, figure out what they want, 
and and make it easy for them. Um, for instance, look at it this way: if you make it easy for them, they're going to make it easy for you. For instance, like this: you work at a McDonald's, and you if you know your job, you know number four is Big Mac or whatever. Um, you know. KFC or Burger King or whatever, or number three, whatever that is, Big Mac, double quarter pound cheese, so good, but whatever it is, if you know all the aspects of that number three, you can ask the question, oh, would you like pickles with it? Would you like quarter onions with it? You know that because you've, you've studied the menu, you understand it, and so how does that benefit you, right? For instance, um, that person you're talking to, whoever he or she is, you've, you've saved them time because they don't have to explain, oh, you know, you don't, you don't have to look back behind your back and say, oh, what's the number three? Okay, well, you already know what it is because, you you know, you memorize it. You figured, you worked on your craft. So imagine this. That person that's in line behind him or her sees you, knows the menu, you know the menu, who knows, they, it might be something about you that says, oh, this person would be a good fit for my company. You never know about that. You never know. And so what you're doing is you're, you're, sh you're demonstrating your skill set for everyone to see. Even your manager. If you're ma just the little things like that. Your management will see that and say, oh, that's good. And if they don't, you know, at least you have that skill set. Somebody's going to recognize that, believe that. It's just going to happen. Do it enough time, somebody's going to recognize it. Plus, plus you have a habit like now. You have that habit of going the extra mile, you know, and just really figuring out your job. Uh, what's the what's the flip side of that? So, what's the flip side? The flip side is go and do your work. Hey, how's it going? Okay. Nice to see you. Oh, okay, I'm here. Yeah. Okay. You know, I have to look every time at the menu because I didn't study it and I would focus on my job. Well, what's going to happen is they're going to stick you in the, they're going to stick you flipping burgers, dude, because you're not facing the customer. You're not, you know, you're not the face of the company. Get back in there and flip some burgers, youngin. You know, that's what they'll say, right? <laughs> or make me some fries. And so you can imagine now you're, you're, you have, um, that's a, you're a fry cook, right? You know, you're not in front of folks. Every day, you just do the same thing. Fry burger, flipper, you know, making fries. Focus on that. Make that your your uh, your your craft. So, for instance, how can you, uh, you know, take the hamburgers and make them faster? How can you make them quicker than you normally do? What techniques can you use? You know, how can you get your burgers wrapped quicker than everybody else? How can you present your um, your hamburger in such a way that it looks like on the package. You know, it's not all sloppy. How many times has anybody been to like McDonald's and you get the the burger, the double quarter pound of cheese, and that and that little container thing, and it doesn't it doesn't look like what's on the picture. Like, what is this? You know, this is just like sloppy. Like, there's no. I mean, I know for me, I've seen it before, and I, I mean, I used to work at one too, so I know. And you look at it and say, oh, that's kind of sloppy. Yeah, that's, uh, whoever put that together, oh gosh, I don't know what's their deal, you know? Um, so just make it, uh, make the best of it. Do your very best at whatever job you're in. And then eventually you're going to get promoted or you're going to get, uh, your accolades will be put, you know, be uh, given to you. And, you know, it may not happen as quick as you want either, by the way. But those skills that you're learning, the job, the soft skills in a call center or McDonald's or fast food, for instance, uh, you can, those are easily translated anywhere else. Because, you know, um, the ability to talk to people as well and relate to folks, because when you get to IT or you get to, let's say you go from call center to something else, help desk, for instance, your ability to talk to folks to just understand their problems and having, you know, you having worked in a call center or you having worked in a uh, McDonald's it gives you a chance to try out those uh, uh, those those skills to what works with people. 
how to talk to folks, right? Again, you, you know, use use that McDonald's, that fast food job, that call center job as a training ground for you. Like, oh, I'm really learning a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, you know. So, um, yeah. Okay. Well, um, that is about it for today's uh, podcast. Thank you very much for viewing, or rather, listening to the podcast, and have a great day.